If you want to work from home, there are several requirements you'll need to have for your home office. Is your workspace ready? In this section, we'll go over the typical things your home office will need to have in order for you to be hired and then be successful as an at-home worker. First, you'll need a dedicated space for work. Ideally, you'll be able to set aside an entire room as a home office, like this person in this picture did. If you don't have enough space to have an entire home office room just for work, set aside a part of the living room, the dining room, or possibly even the kitchen and make that a dedicated space. Put things in it that remind you it's for work and make that space only be for work. Try not to have it in your bedroom though because it'll be very hard to disconnect. It's a little too easy to go from bed to laptop in the corner and then back to bed again or to decide, well, I'm in my bedroom anyway, I'll just keep working and eventually I'll get some sleep. No, you need a dedicated space for work. And again, dedicated means a permanent space. I know I'm someone who likes to work on a laptop, so I can carry my computer all throughout the house to get work done. But I've made myself a home office and that's where I do my work. That's also where I'm most productive. So again, make sure you have a dedicated space for work and let your family know that's your workspace. Try not to have the kids taking over the laptop or your spouse or friends or family sitting in that space when it's time for you to do work. You'll also need a chair and a desk. I know that seems self-explanatory. How are you going to work if you don't have a chair and a desk? But I've seen many people try to work from their bed. I mean, literally, they will sit in their bedroom, sit in the bed, have a phone on one side, computer in the lap, and go. That may be conducive to some things, but if you have an actual eight hour a day or even four hour a day job, the bed is not going to be comfortable or at least not conducive to work. I would say invest in a chair and invest in a desk. Now, what those things look like will depend on how you like to work. Some prefer an L-shaped arrangement like in the picture. Others need just a typical desk with no drawers. As long as they can put their feet under it, they're good. Invest in a good chair though, because a work from home position means you'll likely be sitting in that chair for the majority, if not all of your shift. Make sure it's comfortable. If you have a phone job, you won't have the luxury of getting up necessarily and walking around the room if you need a break. Instead, invest in something that's comfortable that you're okay to sit on for four to eight hours at a time. Proper lighting is also important. You need to be able to see what you're doing. A lot of people are good with the overhead light, whatever light comes in the room, but sometimes that's not enough. You're going to be spending a lot of time looking at your computer screen, so make sure that there is enough light so that you don't have to squint your eyes or get really close to the computer to see what's going on. Invest in a desk lamp if you need to, or a floor lamp that you can turn on as well. Also, having a lamp may be beneficial if your dedicated office space is not a room is not a home office but somewhere in the corner of your living room you won't necessarily want to have the entire living room light on when you want to do work instead you could just turn on your desk lamp or the floor lamp right next to your desk and work from there but again proper lighting is very important if you can also try to go somewhere with windows because if you work in the daytime that natural light is great it can help you focus and help you stay on task as you move throughout your work day a computer and not just any computer many work from home companies have their own specific requirements for what type of computer you have Ideally, it's something that's pretty up to date. If the last time you bought a computer was four or five years ago, you will probably need to upgrade. It has to be something that's high speed and can use the, com the company software because some companies have you download their software to do work. Uh, it moves pretty fast. You have the components that you need like a laptop which has its own monitor or a desktop that has a separate monitor, a separate mouse, and other accessories that will help you get your work done. 
my suggestion is as you go through your work from home job search look at the requirements for the companies that you want to work for and check your computer up against those specifications see if you have what they'd be looking for before you decide to apply you also need high speed internet dial up will not work <laughs> so make sure you invest in an ethernet connection that can be through a cable service or another type of service that offers high-speed internet many of the companies would prefer you not to use wireless internet also these days though a lot of cable companies are offering this hyperspeed type of internet where your wireless connection can be almost as good or better even than a land connection or an ethernet connection the high-speed internet is going to be important because you are working virtually. All of the work that you're going to be doing is from the computer. When you speak to your teammates or your boss, it might be by phone, but it could also be through a service like Skype or Instant Messenger or email. If you have a job that requires you to turn in work, you're likely going to be turning in that work via email or through uploading it to a special project space. You'll need your internet to be fast enough to keep up with the needs of the business. So make sure you invest in high speed internet. Also, a telephone will be important. Many work from home companies require that you have a landline and not just a cell phone. I would say call your cable company or call your telephone company and see if you can get the bare bones basic for a telephone. That might just be a regular telephone that has call waiting or even call waiting turned off for instance. You don't need voicemail, especially if you're someone who is a cell phone only user. I know in our household we do have the landline, but for the most part we're on our cell phones if we want to talk. So make sure, again, you look at the company requirements. Most of them will ask for a landline and make sure you have that available. If you're doing a customer service or a call center type job, part of your telephone requirement may also be a headset. So look at those types of accessories that will be uh, that will help you rather do your job well. Make sure the telephone has uh, it could be call waiting, it could be caller ID, it could be call forwarding. Check with the company and make sure you have everything that you need in the telephone system in order to be successful at that job. Here are a few examples of some companies that have their work from home office requirements available on the net for you. Now if you go here and you happen to like some of these jobs, you can apply for them too, but they're here just so that you can see what some companies will require for your home office. It's great to have a list of things that are needed so that you can benchmark yourself against it. That way, as soon as you apply, you'll know my home office is ready. And if they hire me and say I want you to work tomorrow, you don't have to go scrambling to the store in order to get what you need. You'll already have it. Now, if you have all of these home office items available, then you are definitely ready to work from home.